Hello procrastinators, money makers and also YouTubers, it's your best friend LaserJet and first of all I just want to say I'm using a different microphone for today because my other one's not working so sorry about the quality of the microphone but today welcome back to the last train simulator 2017 episode we're going to be doing because I'm going to be taking a two month break and for that I want to be reviewing one of my favourite engines apart from the Flying Scotsman obviously will be this, the Golden Arrow, and if you're wondering why there are so many railway lines, um, it, it'll, I'll, um, well, there's no need to explain it because I'll, um, it'll, it'll show you in a minute, or later or something. But <laughs> I just love this train so much. The detail in it is fantastic, and I don't know what is with this kind of engine, but these are one of my favourite all-time steam locomotives ever. So <laughs> I'm just so happy we're gonna be driving it. So anyway, uh, let's put. Uh, the brakes off. Um, does this thing have a lamp? No, it doesn't. Okay, never mind. And let's put the throttle, well, the, the regulator on 30. No, uh, we'll have it on 41, and we'll have the regulator on 46. Just want to do a quick, like, you know, slow start because because there's no rush. Because I've got a very big surprise for you guys today. Because. Um, you, as you, as as I said, you guys are wondering why there's so many railway lines here. Well, one by one, every single train we've been reviewing for the past couple of months now on Train Simulator, one by one, they're going to be, be coming passing through, and we're going to be paying our respects, and we're going to meet every single train at the end of the line. So I don't know. I I literally have no idea which train is going to be coming first. So this is actually quite a surprise for me. So, uh, but I have to say that um, some of the trains that I did review, they cannot be here in this video, like Thomas the Tank Engine or the Royal Scott, the trains like that. Some of the trains I've reviewed cannot be here because this is on my new computer and they're on my old computer, so I don't have those trains anymore, so I do apologise. But don't worry, one by one, each train will be passing through and we'll be paying our respects. So, and I think the first train will, is pa passing through right now, and who do we have? I think we have, oh, we have the US of A, Excella Express, just flying through, look at it, she goes. And these are all the trains we've been reviewing on Train Simulator, and there goes the Excella Express. God, that's just speeding through, that's just flying. No wonder they call the Excella Express, that thing's really moving. Well, I think we can have the regulator down to about, uh, 54. We don't want to go too fast. Who's the, I think there's another train coming through. Who's this? Ah, who's this? Oh, big shiny light. He's got a bright light on him. Who's this? It is the Amtrak P42. Also the US of A. And she's also flying through as well. Look at, look at she goes. And I think we've got another train on the side here. Don't know who that is, but she'll be passing through shortly. But this is, this, I'm so glad I'm actually making this episode because oh, even though that this is going to be one of the last ones I'm going to be doing for the, for the, for the next um, two months, it's glad that I'm paying my respects to all the engines I reviewed on this amazing simulator. I think we've got our next friendly visit. Oh, it's daylight! God, she's moving fast as well. And I, a lot of people did say that I got this train wrong. It's actually powered by oil. Oh, and we have the Polar Express. Look, oh, she's flying as well. She's really moving. And we have TGV as well. My favourite electric locomotive that's powered by electricity or something, rather, whatever. TGV Duplex, I think it, she was called. And we also have two special trains. We have the A4 class. We have the fastest train in the world, Mollard. And her sister, Sir Nigel Greasley. Hooray! Look at them two go. It's like a, it's like the Great Railway Show, isn't it? Oh, and we have the A3 class. And this was one of the first trains I reviewed on Train Simulator. Is Flying Scotsman and Flying Scotsman. <laughs> God, those two are really moving. Look, it's like a great show, isn't it? Right, we can put the power on full now, because I think that's almost everyone. I think. I'm not entirely sure. I'll have it on. I'll have the regulator on 25%, so now she can start speeding up. I wonder who else we got next. Oh, of course, I could not forget the great, mighty A1-class Tornado. How can I forget her? Oh, she's all left behind. Don't worry, she'll be able to catch up, no problem. 
I think it's me that needs to start catching up. I mean, look at me. I'm, I'm left for dirt here. I'll give them a little friendly toot toot. I do like the whistle for this train. Oh, hold on. We've got another train behind us. Who's this? Oh, we have... Oh, it's Big Boy. Well, uh, well actually, I'm going to slow down for Big Boy, actually. We'll let Big Boy come through and then we'll go full power. And since we're waiting for Big Boy, I might as well tell you guys what I think of the inside. Um, there is a bit of a glitch, I have to be honest, because this isn't, actu this isn't actually the real inside for this model. But it's got a cute little fire, though. Look at that. That fire looks well... De seriously detailed, doesn't it? I like the effects on it. It's very cool. But, as I said, it's, this is not the real model, so there's a bit of a technical glitch. I hear Big Boy coming up from behind. Oh, there she is. Here she comes. Do a, another friendly toot toot. And there comes the biggest steam train in the world. The great and mighty Big Boy. Look at that train go. Right now we can put full power on. Right, maximum power. Put the power down, 50. I think Big Boy's doing around about 70 miles per hour. And I, actually, I don't think this is actually miles per hour. I think this might be kilometers an hour, actually. I th actually, I think I'm, I think this is kilometers. Yeah, yeah, this is kilometers an hour. My mistake. Oh my god, I only put the power up about two minutes ago. And look, we're already at 72 kilometers an hour. Actually, I think Big Boy's doing around about 80 kilometers an hour, I think. The way she's going. Look at her. She's really flying the rails, isn't she? But, I, I, as I said, I mean, the, uh, it's sad that, you know, this is actually going to be one of the last episodes I'm going to be doing. But it's been a fun journey, and I think there's no better way to say goodbye to all the fantastic engines and see them go past one by one. And I think that's just fantastic. So, Golden Arrow is one of my favorite trains in the world, but, you know... This is, a, this is like a host. Like, this is a train I would arrive in in, in anything. And meeting Flying Scotsman and Tornado and Mollard and all those trains up there. I think this is a good way how to end a good series. Now we're doing 92 kilometers an hour and we are really flying. I mean, look, how, look at the speed of this thing. But the biggest question of all, how's Big Boy doing that? How's Big Boy going... Run well, about 90 kilometers an hour, pulling all those. God, this tr that train is seriously incredible. I mean, look at she go, she's all the way over there. How was that even possible? I guess I'm just stupid. 101, is that, can we get two? Ah, 102 kilometers an hour, or power hour, or whatever. Oh my god, but... How is Big Boy even going that far? I mean, I know obviously I'm going faster, which is no surprise there, but how is Big Boy even still going this fast? I'm going to go inside, actually, and get... I want to get a cool shot, or... Ah, uh, actually, here's a cool shot from here, actually. If we, um... I just want to do this, actually. This, the, I'm sad. Leave me alone. If we have Big Boy on this side. And we have the Golden Arrow over here, so... Here we go. Here she comes. Or should we have it on... Uh, should we have it on this side? There we go. Well, that, this this is the perfect moment. Yeah, just quickly a quick overtaken by the golden arrow. And there goes Big Boy. Right, our top speed is 111 kilometers an hour, and I've done everything I can. I've tried putting it on low. I uh, tried put it on high, but I think the, the fastest I can ever go is 111 kilometers an hour. Oh no, 100, 112 kilometers an hour. We're going faster. Holy crap, holy, that's quite fast. For a steam train, anyway. But look at Golden Arrow go. Isn't it just the most amazing train you've just ever witnessed on Train Simulator history? I mean, it's, it is beautiful, without a doubt. Oh, 113 kilometers per hour. God, this is actually really nice. And I do love the tender as well. The tender's quite good. But I do. I have a downside with the coal, though. I don't like how the coal looks. Well, guys, the fastest I could go was 117 kilometers an hour. I know it says 16, but I just hit 17. But we're coming up to the end of the line now, and I think Big Boy is far behind. Poor thing. But I think we need to stop braking now, because if um, not too much, be well, actually quite a lot, because we're coming up to the end of the line. But you can see everyone is already there waiting for me to arrive. And I tell you what, it's going to be a good arrival. Right, let's put... Um 
Let's put it on 17. Why are we slowing down? The ti see the, the tiniest amount of braking causes me to slow down like rapidly. I don't get it. No, but don't slow down. Don't stop yet. We still got miles to go. Look. Don't slow down. If I slow down too much, Big Boy will be able to catch up. Well, actually, that's not that's actually not a bad idea. Right, we're speeding up, which is good, but I sadly we have to let the speed go again. This is shame. So. If you can hear, it's dead silence now, so I'm, a I'm actually not doing anything. The train is just rolling on its own, so technically I'm, I'm not actually doing anything. But what what a series. What an amazing train simulator series we've done. And hopefully we will be back with a new series very soon. But I think it's time for us f to take a break and just relax. I mean, I know um, most of my popular videos on YouTube are indeed train simulator, but I think it would just time to take a break so we can move on to something else. But we will be back, guys. Don't worry. We will be back. Sorry, sorry, I'm just thinking. Right, now we can pull the brakes on just a smidge. So a gentle... Just a tiny, gentle a, a, an approach. Just like, we don't want to go too fast. Because I don't want to, like, crash. And then that will that'll just be catastrophic. There we go. Right, put a bit of power on. God, listen to the sound of that puffing. It's very aggressive, isn't it? And that's why I, I like that. Where is Big Boy? Oh, Big Boy's over there. She'll be able to catch up in no time. Or oh, who would win? It's just a, it's a straight race between me and Big Boy. It's like the slowest race in history. Right, pull power. I wonder if we could park... Oh, we're going to park right next to uh, my favourite uh, electric diesel locomotive in the world, which is the TGV. And who's this? Who am I parking next to? We're going to be parked next to... Oh, I can't really see. Right. Break on... I can't really see who I'm going to be parked... Oh! Ah, I'm going to be parked next to Flying Scotsman, my favourite steam train in the world. And it's got two tenders, which is my favourite. And here comes Big Boy. Oh, look at that. Two trains coming in together. How lovely is that? This. Oh, this is just a, perf a perfect finish. Look at that, guys. Right, break. Brakes are on. And we both stopped at the exact same time. Look at that. Isn't it just wonderful? All of us are here. But sadly, a few steam trains couldn't, couldn't be here today, which was a shame. But never mind. We've got Mollard. We've got Acceler Express. We've got Polar Express. Whatever. Amtrak P42. Flying Scotsman with two tenders. Golden Arrow. TGV. Tornado. Big Boy. Another Flying Scotsman, which is British Railway. I think. Yeah. Daylight and Sir Nigel Greasley. So all of us are here. Look at that, guys. How amazing is that? What a great way how to end a fantastic, fantastic series. But sadly, all good things come to an end. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching and thank you for staying cool and thanks for liking my Train Simulator videos. But it's a shame that we all have to end. Thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you guys in two months. See you then and stay cool my friends and goodbye.